Atmospheric Pressure, Wikipedia Article Audio Atmospheric pressure, sometimes also called barometric pressure, is the pressure within the atmosphere of Earth. In most circumstances atmospheric pressure is closely approximated by the hydrostatic pressure caused by the weight of air above the measurement point. As elevation increases, there is less overlying atmospheric mass, so that atmospheric pressure decreases with increasing elevation. Pressure measures force per unit area, with SI units of pascals. On average, a column of air with a cross-sectional area of 1 square centimeter, measured from mean sea level to the top of Earth's atmosphere, has a mass of about 1.03 kg and exerts a force or weight of about 10.1 newtons or 2.37 pounds f, resulting in a pressure at sea level of about 10.1 n-cm2 or 101 knots-m2. A column of air with a cross-sectional area of 1 and 2 would have a mass of about 6.65 kg and a weight of about 65.4 n or 14.7 pounds f, resulting in a pressure of 10.1 n-cm2 or 14.7 pounds f n2. In the United States, Atmospheric pressure near sea level is commonly rounded to 15 pounds f slash in 2, and expressed as 15 psi. Atmospheric pressure is caused by the gravitational attraction of the planet on the atmospheric gases above the surface, and is a function of the mass of the planet, the radius of the surface, and the amount of gas and its vertical distribution in the atmosphere. It is modified by the planetary rotation and local effects such as wind velocity, density variations due to temperature and variations in composition. Mechanism Standard Atmosphere The standard atmosphere is a unit of pressure defined as 101,325 Pa, equivalent to 760 mmHg. 29.92 inches hg and 14.696 psi. The mean sea level pressure is the average atmospheric pressure at sea level. This is the atmospheric pressure normally given in weather reports on radio, television, and newspapers or on the internet. When barometers in the home are set to match the local weather reports, they measure pressure adjusted to sea level not the actual local atmospheric pressure. The altimeter setting in aviation is an atmospheric pressure adjustment. Average sea level pressure is 1013.25 bar. In aviation weather reports, QNH is transmitted around the world in millibars or hectopascals, except in the United States, Canada, and Colombia where it is reported in inches of mercury. The United States and Canada also report sea level pressure SLP, which is adjusted to sea level by a different method, in the remarks section, not in the internationally transmitted part of the code, in hectopascals, or millibars. However, in Canada's public weather reports, Sea level pressure is instead reported in kilopascals. In the U.S. weather code remarks, three digits are all that are transmitted, decimal points and the one or two most significant digits are omitted, 1013.2 mbar is transmitted as 132, 1000.0 mbar is transmitted as 000. 998.7 bar is transmitted as 987, etc. The highest sea level pressure on Earth occurs in Siberia, where the Siberian high often attains a sea level pressure above 1,050 bar, with record highs close to 1,085 bar. The lowest measurable sea level pressure is found at the centers of tropical cyclones and tornadoes with a record low of 817 bar. Mean sea level pressure 
pressure varies smoothly from the Earth's surface to the top of the mesosphere. Although the pressure changes with the weather, NASA has averaged the conditions for all parts of the Earth year-round. As altitude increases, atmospheric pressure decreases. One can calculate the atmospheric pressure at a given altitude. Temperature and humidity also affect the atmospheric pressure, and it is necessary to know these to compute an accurate figure. The graph at right was developed for a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity of 0%. At low altitudes above sea level, the pressure decreases by about 1.2 kPa for every 100 meters. For higher altitudes within the troposphere, the following equation relates atmospheric pressure P to altitude H. Altitude variation Where the constant parameters are as described below. Atmospheric pressure varies widely on Earth, and these changes are important in studying weather and climate. See Pressure System for the effects of air pressure variations on weather. Atmospheric pressure shows a diurnal or semi-diurnal cycle caused by global atmospheric tides. This effect is strongest in tropical zones, with an amplitude of a few millibars, and almost zero in polar areas. These variations have two superimposed cycles, a circadian cycle and semi-circadian cycle. Local Variation the highest adjusted to sea level barometric pressure ever recorded on Earth was 1,085.7 HPA measured in Tassant Sengal, Mongolia on December 19, 2001. The highest adjusted to sea level barometric pressure ever recorded was at Agata in Evenk Autonomous Okrug. Russia on December 31, 1968 of 1,083.8 HPA. The discrimination is due to the problematic assumptions associated with reduction of sea level from high elevations. Records The Dead Sea, the lowest place on Earth at 430 meters below sea level, has a correspondingly high typical atmospheric pressure of 1,065 HPA. Measurement based on depth of water the lowest non-tornadic atmospheric pressure ever measured was 870 HPA, set on October 12, 1979, during typhoon tip in the western Pacific Ocean. The measurement was based on an instrumental observation made from a reconnaissance aircraft. One atmosphere is also the pressure caused by the weight of a column of fresh water of approximately 10.3 m. Thus, a diver 10.3 m underwater experiences a pressure of about 2 atmospheres. Conversely, 10.3 m is the maximum height to which water can be raised using suction under standard atmospheric conditions. Boiling point of water Low pressures such as natural gas lines are sometimes specified in inches of water typically written as WC or WG. A typical gas using residential appliance in the U.S. is rated for a maximum of 14 WC, which is approximately 35 HPA. Similar metric units with a wide variety of names and notation based on millimeters, centimeters, or meters are now less commonly used. Pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius at Earth's standard atmospheric pressure. The boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure around the water. Because of this, the boiling point of water is lower at lower pressure and higher at higher pressure. Cooking at high elevations, therefore, requires adjustments to recipes. A rough approximation of elevation can be obtained by measuring the temperature at which water boils. In the mid 19th century, this method was used by explorers. 
An important application of the knowledge that atmospheric pressure varies directly with altitude was in determining the height of hills and mountains thanks to the availability of reliable pressure measurement devices. While in 1774 Masklin was confirming Newton's theory of gravitation at an Onskahillion in Scotland and accurately measure elevation, William Roy using barometric pressure was able to confirm his height determinations, the agreement being to within one meter. This method became and continues to be useful for survey work and map making. This early application of science gave people insight into how science could easily be put to practical use. Measurement and Maps Experiments